Right, early morning, 8.30 a.m. We are at Shinjuku. It's a new, it's a new south gate. That's a new, new one is called Basta Shinjuku. Yeah, it's a new, new bus station. Yeah. Okay, so we're off to get like a Tokyo White Pass. What's the deal with Tokyo White Pass? Uh, 10,000 yen 10, for... 10,000 yen for three days. Like, uh, like, uh, more well, like almost cover around the Tokyo area, the Nagano, Tochigi. So we can ride the Shinkansen all you want. Yeah, all you want. Uh, also, yeah, you can like uh, reserve the seat. So we are going to Karuizawa. Should be fun. I've never seen Shinjuku during daylight, man. <laughs> just, just That's at night. Nice. It's a nice way to drink, guys. Although the station is a bit of a labyrinth. So I just got the JR pass. This is a 10,000 yen. I guess this is the coverage? Yeah, for Kaiwizawa and Nico, that's all we need. Mm. I'm kind of regretting bringing this bag right now, like fuck, it's too huge. <laughs> <laughs> While I grab my breakfast here, let me go deeper in the Tokyo White Pass. The pass is a pretty awesome deal, currently available only to foreigners. The Tokyo White Pass is basically a free pass to ride the local trains and shinkansens around certain areas such as Tokyo, Yokohama, Nikko, Ibaraki, and more. Yeah, we have four-fifths of the crew right here. Just one more big guy, Andy. And yeah, Ratu, you've been to Karuizawa before, right? Yes. Like how many times? Seriously, this is your oh. third time. This is my third time. There's a pro right here. Yeah, we, we don't know what to do. We have no plans right now, so. Okay, I actually haven't really traveled a lot in Karuizawa. It's just like a restaurant. Okay. <laughs> and Yokosatsu. But it's not in Karuizawa, too, like Yokosatsu. I only went to the church. Yeah, only the church. And then, like, just walk along the okay. Karuizawa Ginza. But I have never been. Oh, no, That's no, what no. we're doing now, no, no, Terrace no, no, no. House That's Checkout. Uh, okay, we are complete now. So for the use of the Tokyo White Pass, you just have to present the ticket to the staff to get through. Please make sure that your passport is with you the whole time pre-purchase and for the whole trip with you when you're using this pass. I've only taken the Shinkansen twice before so I'm pretty excited about it. It's customary to buy an Ekibento, which is basically a packed meal to consume during the way. Various types exist from cheaper sandwich packs around 600 to 700 yen up to the usual assorted ones and even ones with wagyu beef more or less costing around 1500 yen max. Since I'm a Shinkansen noob, I decided to take on this E7 Shinkansen lunchbox. This cost me around 1300 yen. Worth it. Being in the Shinkansen is very nice. You can just eat, chill, sleep, or even work. They even have plugs in there, toilets as well in the back. It's perfect. So the trip took around 1 hour 20 minutes before we finally got to Karuizawa. As soon as we stepped out of the station, we see that there aren't many people around. Taxis were piling up out front. We decided to go to the Q Karuizawa Ginza area, the shopping district. Karuizawa has interesting architectures all around. It feels so old yet modern at the same time. So this is the Kyukari Uzawa Ginza. Restaurants, souvenir shops, ice cream shops, etc. They line the whole street.
So Karuizawa is apparently big on the production of honey. Several honey shops offering drinks and ice creams can be seen everywhere. We decided to try the ice cream, the one with the honey block on it. It was pretty good. It was delicious. I'd seriously recommend it if you're there. We eventually sat inside one shop and had a nice chat with the seller. She told us things about Karuizawa, such as how we are actually at the nadir of a tourist season, winter and fall being the peak. We walked around some more, heading to the temple where the cast of Terrace House went to visit on New Year's Day. The Suwa Grand Shrine. This shrine looks extremely old, it's got a mysterious feel to it, especially with the fact that we were the only ones there. I haven't gotten a new year reading yet, I decided to do that here. My offering didn't hit the spot the first time, so I had to redo. Walking around the woods of Karuizawa, we see many interesting houses with beautiful architecture. They all look so foreign to me. We are on the search for the actual terrace house as well. And Ratu here was very excited over this one until Tanya told us that the doors were supposed to be green. The Karuizawa Shaw Memorial Church. So this site is epic. It was where Shaw got rejected by Sena. We wanted to see how it felt to be there. The church was inside the wooden area, with a hotel beside it and a resort and pet hotel right in front of it. Overall, there weren't many people. Grabbing lunch itself was a tedious task as most places were closed. We went to the other side of the station to where the outlets are. This was the area where we saw in Terry's house, Yudai flashed his papa's credit card power. There were more people here. I guess they were focused on shopping. Big stores like Gucci can be spotted. So yeah, we eventually settled in the cafeteria nearby. We then headed to our next destination, which will be up for my next video, the Onsen Town Kusatsu. We rode the Shinkansen again, and then a train. I did head back to Karuizawa after Kusatsu to visit Sasa to find them closed. We did talk to the taxi driver as to why most places were closed and he said that the tourism of Karuizawa has been on the decline these past years especially due to the thinning of snowfall in the area. He said that the snow has lessened these past 38 years. He mentioned that many people preferred to go elsewhere and that's one of the reasons as to why most shops were closed anyway. I'll definitely be back one day for a longer cruise. I have not, after all, had a proper soba a la sasa yet. One day. Until next. <laughs>